Hello, I am Tomonash Jana, Assistant Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering of Malluvum Institute of Technology. Today I am going to give a brief introduction on functionally graded materials. So to start with, what is functionally graded material? Functionally graded material is an advanced engineering material which is characterized by a defined spatial gradient of properties. These materials are completely different from the conventional composite materials, which are either homogeneous mixture that involve a compromise between the properties of the components or two or more different materials which are joined together as in the case of laminated composite material, which is given in the figure in the left. The introduction of functionally graded material was a result of the failure of the traditional composite material when used in harsh working environments. The failure of these traditional composite material occurred along the distinct well-defined interface that exists between the laminated composite materials. If we look at the picture given at the left, there are very clear boundaries between the layers and these failures took place at these interfaces. Now these interfaces causes a very high stress concentration and it promotes crack initiation and eventually these crack propagate and result in ultimate failure of the composite. This failure process is referred as delamination of composites. <clears throat> Graded material exists extensively in nature. For example, stems of plants, bamboo, horse hoofs, human or animal bones, human skins are some of these examples of the naturally occurring functionally degraded materials. Now nature has produced them through generations of evolution based on the requirement for these material to become adaptable to all the boundary and loading conditions defined by their respective environment. As nature continues to fascinate and inspire human to march towards technological advancements, these graded natural materials also stimulated to artificial duplication. Now to talk about the history of functionally graded material. Functionally graded material was first strategically developed in 1984 during a Japanese space plane project. The problem faced with the researchers in this project was the delamination failure which, was, which has been already discussed. Now the task was how this interface can be removed so that the composite can survive the intended thermal barrier application required for the space plane project. The researchers were able to eliminate systematically the sharp interface in the traditional composite material by a gradually changing interface, thereby reducing the stress concentration at this interface and the functionally graded material developed was able to withstand the extreme working condition without failing. Subsequently, functionally graded material have been applied for various engineering applications apart from this thermal barrier for which this material was originally developed. Now let's talk about classification of functionally graded material. Functionally graded material is classified based on two factors. First based on gradient type and the second based on constituent materials. Now based on gradient type there are primarily three types of FGM. First one is chemical composition gradient. This is the type of functionally graded material where the chemical composition is gradually varied according to the spatial position of the material. This could be in the form of a single phase or in multi-phased material. The second type is microstructural gradient where the microstructure is tailored in such way that different microstructures are produced in the material 
which is made to change gradually so as to achieve the required properties from the material. This macrostructural gradation is generally achieved during the solidification process of a material. The third and the uh, final type is porosity gradient in which the porosity in the material is made to change with the change in the spatial position of the bulk material. The shape and size of the pore are designed and varied according to the required properties of the functionally graded material. Now based on the constituent material, primarily there are five types of FGMs. First ceramic metal, example of this type is mulite and molybdenum FGM, aluminium and aluminium diboride FGM and so on, there are so many. And the second type is metal metal FGM. Some examples of this type are tungsten copper FGM, tungsten molybdenum FGM and so on. And the third type is ceramic ceramic. And example of this type is silicon carbide with diamond like carbon. The fourth type is metal polymer. An example of this type is aluminum polycarbonate. And the fifth type is ceramic polymer. An example of this type is glass epoxy FGM. Now let's discuss about fabrication method of FGMs. There are several popular methods of FGM fabrications. Broadly, we can subdivide the fabrication process into three categories. Solid state process in which the fabrication is carried out when the constituent materials are in solid state. Three processes of these types in this type powder metallurgy, diffusion bonding and additive manufacturing. And the second type is a liquid state process in which the processing is done when the constituent material are in liquid state. Three processes of this type are infiltration, centrifugal casting and gravity settling. And the third and final type is deposition process which includes vapor deposition, spray deposition and laser deposition. Now let's see and discuss about an example of this functionally graded material. This figure shows a scanning electron microscope image of a tungsten copper FGM. The figure clearly shows the gradual variation of constituent material content. The extreme left end contains 100% tungsten and the extreme right end contains 100% copper. This FGM efficiently provides the combined advantages of these two constituent materials. That is tungsten is hard refractory material and copper provides good electric and thermal current. Now let's talk about applications of functionally graded materials. FGMs are currently being applied in a number of industries with huge potential to be used in other applications in the future. This tree chart shows the different types of FGMs and their application areas. FGMs offer great utilization in applications with wide range of variation including automobile, energy, electronics, biomedical and so on and so forth. Now to conclude with, functionally graded material is a broad research area and in the last 15-20 years there have been considerable amount of research work since the first introduction of FGM. In the recent years FGMs have experienced remarkable development in the manufacturing methods, design and mathematical modeling. However, there is considerable research needed to design and develop some novel economical and sustainable FGMs with high quality and reliable properties which we need to work on in the future. These are the references used for this presentation. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.